guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's video is a breastfeeding video and I decided to do this video because I feel like I've been breastfeeding my entire life. So I kind of wanted to show you guys and not show you guys. Well, basically I am showing you guys how I breastfeed because <laughs> Jaden is a little upset with me. But I wrote down and Googled some questions, some of the questions that are most likely Googled. And I wrote them all down for all of you. And um, I kind of want to answer them. I'm not a breastfeeding expert. I have been breastfeeding for five years now. I'm going to go, April 29 is going to be six, Six years? Priscilla's gonna be six years, babe? Priscilla, how old is Priscilla gonna be? Oh, it's gonna be five. So April 29, I'm going to be breastfeeding officially for five years. And so I feel like I know a little bit enough for me to show, to tell you guys and share my experience um, with you. So yeah, I hope this helps. So let's get on to the video. You're supposed to be YouTube hiding that. No, it's okay. If my nipple is showing, I'll just cover it. Okay, so Edgar is behind the camera and he is going to read us all the questions. Okay, babe, start with the first one, please. If your baby cannot latch on, just ask them for help and they will help you. But yes, to answer your question, it does hurt the few, the first few weeks. Um, you can use warm pads or get in the shower and just sit your boobs in the shower and they would feel so, so much better. Um, right, like pumping the milk out will also feel so much better and massage, massaging, massaging would also feel so much better. My Chi Chi's are bleeding. Can I breastfeed? <laughs> Why are you so weird? What kind of question is that? What do you mean? What kind of question is that? Yeah, my chichis are bleeding. Can I breastfeed? Whose chichis bleed? Everybody's chichis bleed. You didn't know chichis bleed when you breastfeed? No. Well, you... Yeah, they do. They probably bleed milk? No, they don't. They bleed. And that's because they're sore from the baby um, sucking too much. So, they, it, there is nipple cream. Put nipple cream on or um, ice, like ice pads. I did that and it helped. So try to always breastfeed or pump your milk out and it would feel so much better, I promise. Okay, third question. Is it okay to feed my husband in public? <laughs> no, don't feed your husband in public. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's okay to breastfeed your husband and baby in public why not you need to if your baby's hungry feed the baby sheesh do you wear breastfeeding bras yeah you cannot buy breastfeeding bras i never ever bought breastfeeding bras never used one um i always wear like tops like this um or any type of bra Victoria's Secret bra that would be so easy to just pop my chi chi out and feed my baby um, I never wore a breastfeeding bra, but if that's what you want um, Yeah, go ahead and buy one Why did you breastfeed for five years? Um, I don't know I kind of just went along with it. I thought that it was gonna be easier for her to leave it when she gets older. And it kinda was, I kinda, it was kinda just, she cried for about two days. Um, but after that, it was so much better. Like, I slept so good. My back wasn't aching so much anymore. You hit him on the knee. Uh, my back wasn't aching so much anymore, but, um, I did breastfeed for five years. I don't know why. Everybody would be like, oh my God, she's old. Don't do that anymore. But I don't see a problem with it. I'm actually really, really proud of myself for breastfeeding for five years. And who knows if um, I don't die, <laughs> I might breastfeed Jaden for five more years. When do you know when to feed my child? 
Why are you laughing? <laughs> no reason. Why is that funny? Because my child, when do you know when to feed my child? <laughs> when do you know when to feed your child or how do you supposed to answer? Well, that's what it says. I guess you don't really know when to breastfeed your child. You don't really know when to breastfeed your child. You kind of just do it. Like when your baby is crying, you feed him. When um, the baby wakes up at night, you feed him. You feed him. I didn't ever wait. I didn't ever wake them up at two hours. I didn't ever wake them up every hour. I kind of just breastfed them every single time they woke up or every single time they would cry. Um, some people see it wrong. I see it as okay. I have many other kids to take care of. So I kind of, while he was asleep, I would do everything else around the house. And then when he would wake up, I would breastfeed him. And yeah, that's kind of what I would do. Okay, so this is our last question. And our last question is, what do you think about women fixing tongue ties? Um, I do not approve on women fixing tongue ties. Um, that is, if you guys don't know what tongue tie is, it's kind of like a, like in the bottom of your tongue, it's connected to like the bottom of your mouth. It's weird. Or like your lip right here is connected to your teeth area. Um, that's kind of what women, some women or some parents decide to take their kids to the doctor and to kind of like do them like a surgery there, which it would be like to cut that part so they can breastfeed even better. Um, I do not believe on, I do not believe in that. I do not approve in that. I don't think that they should do that to the babies, honestly. Um, um, I think that the baby will latch on eventually um, it does take time it is hard I know it's frustrating like I went through it um, my joke my freaking kids cried for about a day for like it was a ridiculously frustrating I know it is but um, honestly like you guys are gonna get through it and it's gonna get better just keep trying keep trying and I promise you it's gonna get better anyway I wrote five things that, that um, helped me kind of while I was breastfeeding or while I am still breastfeeding because I am still breastfeeding to this day and I'm only breastfeeding Jaden now. Priscilla, thank God, sleeps by herself um, in her own room. So yeah, anyway, the first thing I wrote for breastfeeding mamas is Indian blankets. Um, I have many of those blankets. They are just called Indian blankets. Look them up. They sell them at Walmart, Target, uh, any baby store, Crazy A, Children's Place, any baby store. They are the softest, freshest blankets for your baby. They're also huge so you get to like tie them up around your neck and you can breastfeed your baby while you're in public if you feel uncomfortable just ch taking your chi chi out and breastfeeding your baby like that uh, and yeah they are so freaking cute they have the most cutest freaking designs ever the cutest designs ever actually I have some right now that I'm sending to Mexico let me show you guys so this is one this, these I got them from Target. They're $19 each and this is the other one. So you can see that they're super, super fresh. Um, this is kind of what they look like. You can also wrap your baby in this, like wrap your baby in a little burrito in this. And um, yeah, you can tie up your baby in this. You can tie, tie this up around your neck and put your baby under there and breastfeed him under there while there's people like at the mall or restaurant or whatever. So yeah, these blankets are super, 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 super comfy and like a must. The next thing is breastfeeding pads. They sell breastfeeding pads anywhere, Walmart, Target, anywhere, any Walgreens, anywhere. Um, fuck, my fucking eggs want to sleep. So yeah, breastfeeding pads, I put them in my hospital bag because the first time you have your baby or the first day your baby is born, your chi are going to be super hard, sore, and they're just going to be leaking everywhere. So if you take like an easy, comfiest, comfiest sports bra you have, um, just put in a little 
breastfeeding pad in there and you can just be changing it every single time it gets wet. Um, any v-neck shirts, anything v-neck shirts or any shirts that are easy to just pop your boob, boob out, yeah, the, anything like that, it's a must in your wardrobe because, girl, you're going to be breastfeeding a lot. There was one time when I was at my cuñado's um, wedding and I was wearing a freaking dress that was like v-neck, like was it a v-neck? No, it's not a v-neck. It's a turtleneck. And it was like a dress that got all the way down. Bitch, I had to go to the car, pick up the dress all the way from the bottom, all the way to the top so my chichis can come out and I can breastfeed my child, which was, which was Priscilla at the time. So yeah, any anything that can like expose your boobs. Um, I already said that and a breastfeeding pump a breastfeeding pump is also a must I did have one at the time I had wick and if you guys I know a lot of people don't talk about this but I would talk about it wick is like a program where you get like cereal milk peanut butter uh, bread I'm sure all your mamas have heard of it um, if you tell them that you're fully breastfeeding they will give you a free breast pump. You don't even have to buy one. And it was really cool. I did not um, pump as much. I only pumped about an ounce. So I decided that I would just breastfeed them. And it was a little bit harder because I did have a job. And when I would leave to work, they would cry. Um, but then after the time, they just got used to when I was there and when I was ready to breastfeed. Um, so they got used to that time. But yeah, it is better for you to use a breast pump and give to your child your breast milk in your in their bottle. And then, so it would be easier for you guys to go to work, um, for you to leave them with the babysitter or anything like that, you know? Um, or when you want to go out and book the app, you can leave your um, bottles with your babysitter and it won't be as hard, you know? as it would be if you don't leave them with the bottle so yeah anyway um i hope i'm not missing anything this is kind of what i mm, would have liked to know before i started breastfeeding anyway i hope this helped um, I hope this helped all you new breastfeeding mamas. If you just had your baby or if you're having a baby, congratulations. I wish you guys the best. And um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching my videos. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.